The book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again. Faster than before? And he fell. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renardo knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. So, hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zum, ja, zur finalen Folge von, ähm, jetzt habe ich den Titel des Spiels vergessen, ich glaube es ja nicht, äh, Stories Above Destiny, so rum. Ähm, wie ihr seht, wir sehen hier gerade auch schon diesen goldenen Schlüssel, das dürfte der, ähm, Geschichtsfinder sein. Ähm, wir werden jetzt einmal quasi die richtige Storyline durchspielen und damit äh, dieses Let's Play abschließen und springen jetzt einfach mal da rein. Renato finally realized that Lapino was a traitor to the cause. And maybe Renato could use that somehow. Renato couldn't quite put his paw on when he'd realized Lapino was working for the Empire. He'd never exactly seen Lapino sending coded messages to the palace, but he was sure. The rabbit had been on too many disastrous missions where he was the only survivor or where he accidentally missed getting on the boat that went down to the abyss in flames. If Renato could prevent Lapino from getting back to the fleet with all the intelligence he'd probably gathered, it might be worth the trip. How had they come to this? They'd been on so many adventures together. Lapino had talked Renato out of prison at least four times. And Renato had rescued Lapino from at least two lynch mobs. No one saw Marin of mine. What I hate about you guys? Everything. Presented him. Lapino was hilarious because he was so down on himself and everyone else. But behind the laughs, he wasn't a happy camper. Who was his payback? Or did the Empire have his little white tail in a vice? Nice. That could be useful. So, was haben wir denn jetzt noch mit? Maximale Gesundheit, Brennmenge. Achso, nochmal aus so. Ah, wir haben sogar noch einen. Dann nehmen wir die Geschwindigkeit noch.
Yuna would betray him. The call was dangerous. Now, Renata had a fleeting idea that the two ideas went together somehow. And then, it was gone again. Ah, oh, damn ideas. They never stuck around when you needed them. So, was it? Must have been something else, yeah. Was it? Bloody and exhausted, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing shuffling his favorite deck. Now that he knew what the rabbit was, there are a few things about him that Renato didn't find so amusing anymore. You sent me an urgent message saying that you're in danger. Oh, I am. The ravens are coming. Now, I got a clever plan to kidnap Zenobia. Renato wanted to clap shackles on the rabbit and shout, "You're a traitor, and I'm not falling for it." But if there was one thing Renato was sure of, it was that the core of the Sky River was dangerous, mostly to its user. If he could put it in the Emperor's hands, old Lysengrim the Third might blow himself and his fleet up with it. Yes, that was it. Uh, is it so good? What's it more? Hm. Ich glaube, ich stell den mal, weil ich möchte jetzt eigentlich nicht, dass diese Tochter sich da mit umbringt. Me, a traitor. I'm hurt, said Latino. Why ever would you say that? We found your code book, said Renato. They hadn't, but he hoped Latino would blow his cover. You got me, said Latino. And you know what? I don't regret a thing. It's always about you, isn't it? You're the pretty hero. You get the girl. You get the medal. And what do I get? Rabbit food. I thought you liked rabbit food. Go to hell, said Lapino, and he made a gesture. And twenty ravens came out of nowhere and stabbed oh. Renato to death. Oops. He had tried something bold and paid the price for it. How had they come to this? They'd been on so many adventures together. Lapino had talked Renato out of prison at least four times. Oh, and so. Let's have this more spin. Oh man. Du darfst ja echt nicht so viel reininterpretieren in das Spiel, oder? Und nachdenken. Das, das, das ist echt nicht gut hier. Resented him. Lapino was hilarious because he was so down on himself and everyone else. But behind the laughs, he wasn't a happy camper. Ooh, was this payback, or did the Empire have his little white tail in a vice? Oh, we'll bring some of that later. Uh, no. Ah, come, get me down, get me down. Ist das fies, ey. Dann spielst du jetzt 10 Minuten Level und wirst dann entscheiden, um die falsch ist. Und das war das Spiel, ja. <lacht> Viel Spaß, mach's nochmal. Ich pack's ja nicht. Ravens were landing everywhere from dropships. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lapino first, the rabbit would give the Empire all the intelligence he'd been stealing from the Rebellion. And they'd probably give him a medal. He'd have to be very careful about how he played Lapino. At the slightest hint of danger, the mad rabbit would take off like a what? bloody and exhausted. Renato finally reached. Oh man! <laughs> the rabbit was practicing shuffling his favorite deck. Now that he knew what the rabbit was, there are a few things about him that Renato didn't find so amusing anymore. You sent me an urgent message saying that you're in danger. Oh, I am. The ravens are coming. Now, I got a clever plan to kidnap Zenobia. Renato wanted to clap shackles on the rabbit and shout, "You're a traitor, and I'm not falling for it." But if there was one thing Renato was sure of, it was that the core of the Sky River was dangerous, mostly to its user. 
If he could put it in the Emperor's hands, all Lysengrim III might blow himself and his fleet up with it. Yes, that was it. Na gut, dann machen wir es damit. Renato felt like a real hero, brave and smart. He told the rabbit all about the Sky Ripper's God's Eye core. I'll go get the core while you attack Zenobia, he told the rabbit. But wait, I've a better idea. I'll get the core and you attack Zenobia, said the rabbit. Right, yeah, that is better, agreed Renato. Perfect. The traitor would make sure the Emperor got the core. Now Renato just needed the Emperor to use the core. If he could only get something that the Emperor wanted very badly. Zenobia. He could save her and bait the Emperor at the same time. Right. Now, all Renato had to do was fight his way through Zenobia's invading troops, sneak onto her ship and into her bedroom, and kidnap her without any of her dozens of guards alerting her. Then, he would rely on her love for him to convince her how evil her father was. So, she'd run away with him instead of going back to her father, who was going to blow himself up. Hmm. It did sound a little risky. But Renato had a feeling it would work out somehow. It always did. Achso, okay, dann sollten wir vielleicht auch mal durchgehen. Ah ne, da, da ging es runter, richtig? Genau. So. Interessant, ist hier gar nicht mit Bad. He needed some way to break the ice with this wall, so to speak. Ah ne, da brauchen wir eigentlich nichts mehr. Ähm, ja, springen wir tatsächlich mal da unten in die Kanalisation mal wieder. Schließlich haben wir die auch noch gar nicht fertig gemacht. Gehabt. Autsch! Meine Güte. Äh. Wo bist du denn? Da bist du. Boy, it looks good kill. So, kommt man da hin irgendwo rein? Nein? Renato was halfway to Zenobia's encampment when Lapino showed up. He was disheveled and distraught. They jumped us. I barely got away. Oh, they got the core. Oh, it was all going according to plan, thought Renato. Now he just needed Zenobia on his side. Mm, yes, that was even better. The Iblis Stone. Zenobia could get it. And then the Emperor would have to pursue them. Wait, no. The gem would corrupt anyone, even her. That's it, he thought. Even Lapino. Even though Lapino was already a traitor, it would turn him against his secret master, the Emperor. He would try to make himself Emperor. And the Emperor would have to defend himself with the core. Boom. He was a super genius. This is terrible, Renato told the rabbit. If only I had gone for the Iblis Stone. But now it's lost in enemy territory. He handed Lupino a map. 
It gives the bearer so much power. We can only hope the Emperor never finds it. What was that? Said Lupino. I, I, I think someone's following us. I didn't hear anything. Rabbit ears. You go on ahead. I'll check it out. And with that, Lupino hopped off with the map. Ja. Dann geh du mal suchen, ne? Im Intervall. Renato slinked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. She was curled up on her bed. Mm, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was, how sleek, how soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She was made of smoke, and he noticed he had a very solid blade to his throat. Did you really think you could capture me? Heard a familiar voice. I just wanted to chat. Said Renato. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He needs a sacrifice. Someone who truly loves him. To make a bargain with the lost gods. That's a vicious lie. He wants to bring them back. Oh, that, that, that's crazy. Why would anyone... They could make him immortal. An eater of souls. And with that, her eyes widened. She understood. Renato told her how he had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred. How he had slept in a burnt village. At midnight, the Emperor's victims had come to him in his dreams to tell him of the hideous eldritch rituals they'd been sacrificed in. He could still see those kittens and puppies. Their wide, sad eyes, their moist noses. You can't prove that. I've got a witness at the observatory. He couldn't tell her, not yet, why he was really here. He didn't want her to be anywhere near the fleet when her father blew himself and Lupino up. So he told her about how the Emperor's obscene rituals had raised ancient artifacts out of the land. How he'd followed the appalling trail of the hideous horrors His Majesty had perpetrated for the sake of his own immortality. Any of this ring a bell? He said. He told me it was all lies. You've always known when I was lying. I always hated that about you, said Renato. The rebellion had started after atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. Skateboarding, the sign said. Wir haben sich jetzt echt übersetzt mit Rollbrettfahren. Als wenn man hier in Deutschland nicht wüsste, was Skateboarden ist. Achso, wie ich das jedes Mal verwechsel und wir eigentlich in die andere Richtung müssen, ne? Don't you think I'd know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? 
Would you join in? Uh, no. I destroy his books and and I. <laughs> oh God. Okay. You're not completely wrong. They've resurrected one of his victims. Well, look, I mean, look, it's not exactly alive, but it can talk. A true witness, she said.